Alright guys, this is Tadashi Ed here, and I'm going to be giving the tutorial on how to convert MKV files to AVI with subtitles. Alright, first off, we're going to need two programs. Right here, M or, uh, Avidmux 2.5. And then you're going to need MKV Toolnix. Inside that, we'll be working with MKV Extract GUI.exe. And uh, what this does... It just allows you to extract certain things from MKV files, and in this case, we'll be extracting the subtitles. So, I'll put download links in the description for these two, so do not worry. Okay. Anyways, oh, all right. So let's start by opening up a Vidmux 2.5, and as you can see, we have a Vidmux. Uh, what you're gonna want to do first is right here, click open and then you're going to want to locate your file so for example let's do Steins Gate uh, episode 4 All right, as you can see right now it's opening up my file and uh, opening 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 and while you're waiting you can open up MKV extract GUI.exe, so let's double click that. And now we have this open along with the Vidmux. Uh, do it in. Okay, three, two, one. All right, and now just click yes for this uh, view. And as you can see, we have in Avidmux we have video, audio, format. And then we have a whole timeline right here, along with a bunch of other buttons. So these are my personal settings: MPEG, dash four AVC, and if you go to configure. I have my own little YouTube settings. You can copy these if you want. Encoding mode, target bitrate, a bunch of these. And once you have that copied down, you can click OK. And now we're gonna want to put the subtitles on. So you go back. Let's go to a vid or a MKV extract. And under input, click open. And then let's find the file. Stein, oh, that's not Stein's Gate. Stein's Gate, what was episode 4? And it's going to open it up in here. Uh, didn't work right. And if it doesn't work, you can always just open it again. Sometimes it does that. And now we're going to get a bunch of things in this little content box. And what you want to check mark is the subtitles because that's what we want to take out and you want to click extract and uh, what this does is it, it extracts the subtitles and then it places it in the original folder where your video was so as we're waiting for a little pop-up message to oh look at that All right, once it says files demux successfully click OK go back to vidmux and then click filters and subtitles ASS open. Now you can want to find Steins Gate, and then as you can see, we have our ASS file right here. Double click that up to select it. Click OK, and I right here under active filters, it shows that we now have an ASS file. So click close, and for audio, I just use MP3, and you can mess with these settings if you want. I don't really do anything. And then, what can we do? Oh, right, yeah, that's basically it. Now you can go to File, Save, Save Video, and you name your video whatever. So, and then you can pick a place to save it, and then once you have that. You click save, and you're good to go. 
And uh, for those of you who are uploading, for example, like me, anime, you might want you're, you're gonna want to split videos up into two parts, right? And you can do that on here by going to this little section right here where it shows time. And since the video is roughly 23, 24 minutes, two parts, half of that would be 12. Let's type in 12 and press enter. And then it's going to bring us 12 minutes into the video. So right now this is 12 minutes into the video. And then you're going to want to click on B. This sets up the end point of how long you are. Yeah, this sets up the end point of the video that you set, which would be right here. And if you go here, A, beginning point, frame 0 is at the very beginning. And B, we have the end point. Then, again, you want to click save, save video. Da da da, part 1. And then you have that. And for the second part, you're going to want to click A right away. So then it makes your starting point where you ended your last part to be right here. And then for your last point, type in the end of the video. In this case, it would be 2349. Five, six, seven, and then click or press enter. And now it's loading. I guess why is it doing this? Oh, oh, interesting. And then you're going to want to click B, and that sets your endpoint. File, save, save video, and then same thing as what you did last time, and you're good to go. And now after you finish saving the videos it will convert to an AVI file and that AVI file will have subtitles so um, thank you for watching my tutorial remember both download links for the two programs are in the description uh, make sure to comment like and subscribe for more and uh, yeah I guess that's it alright thanks for watching